these are some uh, oaks, uh, acorns that I've uh, just taken today from uh, local um, Aberdeenshire um, trees. Uh, harvest them very quickly. Now I've uh, picked about 380 and uh, soaked them in water just to see which ones float. Floaters always get rejected um, just because their viability is so low um, and you want them to survive uh, through the winter. So what I've done is a similar method to my horse chestnuts, which were 100% builder sand. This is actually a, a mix. It's about 60% sand, 40% compost. Uh, it doesn't really matter the type of compost. I just happen to have this bag handy. A bit of organic compost there and some builder sand. So what I'm doing is um, I put about um, two, three centimeter base of sand to start with. And then I have scattered a selection of uh, acorns there, kept them as separate as I can. So all I want to do now is just basically sprinkle that on top. Likewise with the organic compost. Um, what I really want to do ideally is completely cover them so that I can put another layer down and then we'll keep building on these layers as we go. Uh, and the idea is that you essentially stratify the uh, acorns as you go and uh, none of them touch each other because if any of them get mouldy uh, or are rotten in any way then they can be uh, kept isolated individually and um, you can see that they're even starting now and this is um, October um, and uh, the idea is that I'll put as many as I can in this box and um, all going well even if I get like 30-40% of them survive that would be pretty good the the sand is um, fairly moist as it is and the compost just provides that nutritional aspect because they're actually growing actively right now and they don't have a dormancy period it's val it's worthwhile just having some nutrition in there so that they can survive through the winter the idea behind this is that really they if you can imagine like the the, the cold as it comes in these will be kept in the pot over winter the cold will penetrate from every direction as the frost comes in so anything kind of probably two three centimeters in may be subject to frost damage and the inside ones will be kept uh, above the temperature of basically of damage and that's it basically i'll just continue doing it in this method uh, and then i'll put a slab on top something like that and leave it um over winter